People, good people, good people. It's your host with the most, the voice of choice. <laughs> but we're not talking about that. We're talking about him. The great one, the number one, the only one, Pastor Joe Williams right there. My guy. He can't steal my words. <laughs> Uh, there is one greater than I. The oh, great! Oh, oh. Michael Lamel the first. Just call me John the Baptist. I'm preparing the way. <laughs> See, we're not Prepare, doing that. <laughs> Prepare the way. We are uh, not doing that. This is a great time to be alive, and we are doing TNT, as you well know, Tuesday Night Theology. Boom! Boom, boom at one time, right where you are, in your home or in your car. Just boom it on out and feel better. Stay on the road, though, if you're in the car. <laughs> Boom, do a half boom, <laughs> not a hydrogen bomb boom. Just do like a little piece of C4, a little corner. <laughs> Listen, we are going to do our first reaction video, all right? And we decided to do Tongues of Power. Tongue of Power. Tongues, mm. is Tongues of Power or Tongue yeah. of Fire? Tongues of Fire was the original one. Then we, oh. we, I, we actually named it Tongue Power, I think. Okay. This is our first time watching it since we did it. Right, so really we're going to watch it. it with you all. Let's go. Tongue power. Tongue power. But it was tongues of fire at first. Okay, okay. They both are really apply, are yep. adequate. All right? Let's see how this goes. A reaction video, the uh, dynamic duo on TNT. We're going to watch it with you. Boom. First time. Let's see how this works. Good, good my people. Welcome <laughs> to our latest edition of TNT. Mm -hmm. Boom. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> I am Pastor Joe, sitting here with my dear friend and brother, the great Michael LaMille Sr. And a uh, reflection of him. <laughs> Definitely. We are just excited about what God is doing. And it seems yeah. like some of you are excited nice. and we want to get more people excited. So we want you to do what you've been doing, like, tag, share, call, Pop subscribe <laughs> um, to the channel. Hit that bell. This has Hit been uh, an intensive labor of love yes. uh, for both of us, <laughs> and we know that God has been tremendously well, like blessing us. Oh, thank you, um, we have been tight. hearing from you, like and uh, one thing I can say, if I did not know before, <laughs> is that your words mean a lot to us they carry weight they have yes. power um, even if Still, they're right critical right um, yes. they yes. mean something Absolutely. Um, but especially those testimonies that we've been hearing um they're they're very powerful uh so there's, a, there's a weightiness to them for us and we want to keep those things um coming uh and it kind of sets the stage for uh <laughs> what we're going to be talking about it today it does it does and uh, just I want to piggyback on what my dear brother said. Tweet somebody, text somebody, tell somebody T. that you TNT <laughs> is on and blowing up. <laughs> that is on and going forward. Mm -hmm. um, also, don't forget, <laughs> as you Pastor Joe too. said, to leave in the comment. Leave comments. Uh, we love hearing your comments. Amen. Amen. We, we are encouraged by those comments, even the ones that seem contrary. Oh, right. yeah. We are encouraging the most. those the most. because <laughs> it proves us and builds us. Exactly. And um, right. we, we're just encouraging it's everyone wisdom, to be vocal uh, and to uh, charge us <laughs> to be on the steadfast uh, path that we're on. Exactly. Charge, it, we'll charge us with that. Exactly. And we're encouraging you to do that. You agree? Yes, sir. <laughs> I agree. So this text is a familiar one and those of you who have been with us from the beginning we uh have been addressing things that you've heard in the church like god being jealous mm. or exceeding yes that <laughs> part, exceeding yeah. exceedingly that part. no exceeding nah, no lies. god no is no lies. It, no it, lie, no lie. now unto no him who's no able lie. to do exceeding <laughs> abundantly oh, that's right exceeding and he is a jealous god by the context uh -oh. that we we're, Message uh, discovering <laughs> and examining through our Bible study and our Bible discussion. So now we're going to deal with Proverbs 18 and 21. Wow, look, I had long text. The King James oh, Version let's reads see. as such Death and oh, life yeah, I remember this. are oh in the power of the tongue. Wow. They're and not in they the tongue. They that love it not in the tongue. shall eat the fruit thereof. Mm. Death 
and life are in the power of the tongue. That's interesting. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Death and life in the power of the tongue. It does not say <laughs> death and life are in the tongue. Does not. Um, it no. does not say <laughs> the power of life and death are in the tongue. Does not no. say. It is very specific <laughs> about what it says. I'm going to let you because your voice is deeper than mine. Death and life <laughs> are in the power of the tongue. Ding. Ding. Not Ding. 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 the we power of done. death and life are in the tongue. Go home. Not that. Here's the thing, very simply. The tongue has its own power. Amen, that's it. <laughs> we subscribe to the idea that death has its own power, life has mm -hmm. its own mm -hmm. power, but the tongue has its own power. Bro, that's good. That's verified that's good. <laughs> by this text. It's verified by the text. It has <laughs> its own power. It has the power of death. And life, <laughs> which means that it make it kill plain, or build. Or build. I like that. Kill or build. Kill or uh, build. And um, yeah, kill or build. So when I was doing too. my you know, study, as we do, uh, I discovered that the word power, as it's used here, um, is actually the Hebrew word for Yod, Y-A-D. Y-A-D, Yod. I love Yod. Yod. I know that most of our you audience in, probably... Bro aren't yeah. students of uh, Hebrew and Greek, but... We work uh, on that, too. Yeah, we, we, we get it. We, we are going to be doing it more. <laughs> we get it. Yes. But I know that there was we a saw. very popular song, mm -hmm. um, a praise song that came out a few years ago and had a lot of Hebrew words, Barak, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Tehillah. Right, mm -hmm. yeah. And Yada means to extend the hand. There it is. And the word like Yad good. simply really means right? an open hand. <laughs> it actually really means <laughs> the open right hand. Woo! And so what that verse really is saying is that the, uh, the hand of the tongue, the strength of the tongue, uh, contains uh, the power of life and death. And when you think about those things, you know, the Bible is really replete about the right hand of God oh, being yeah. that hand of power mm -hmm. and strength and authority. Several, several, several examples of that. Yeah, yes. and when you speak, you essentially begin to sit in that office of having the ability to create or to destroy. destroy. Wow. Yep. My goodness. You watch what you say. May I read watch it in the message mouth. translation? Come, come to it. The message watch translation with Save, your teeth. Save um, your teeth, friends, <laughs> and fond yeah. of that as well. Watch your mouth. Uh, Eugene yeah. Peterson, appreciate that. 27 or so odd years right. researching right. extensively and discovering and expounding on the text and, and uh, interpreting those original words and giving us a tangible contemporary reference right. mm -hmm. in the form of the message uh, translation. And it reads as such, Proverbs 18, 21, in the message, words kill, <laughs> words give life. They're either poison or fruit. You choose. Mm. Powerful. Words kill, words give life, they're either poison or fruit. You choose. Are we allowed to pause the video? Wow. Yes, let's wow. pause it right now, <laughs> sir. Really let's talk yoke. about it. Because it just hit me <laughs> like that. Man. It seems that, particularly with the Message Bible, but kind of building on what King James says, it's like there really isn't an in-between. <laughs> it's either this or this. <laughs> this yay or, or nay. nay. You're either giving life, you're speaking life, or, or you're speaking death. And Can it's really like no two ways about it. Can we just get that? We really should be over now. <laughs> right. I mean, I, I mean, that just hit me like, boom. Like, it's either one or the other. There is no middle ground gray area. It's either this or that, on or off, hot or cold. Which means if it's not giving you life. Cook God Almighty. It's giving you death. And it's not what you, so, sometimes it's not what you meant. It's what you what said. What you said. The words have power in them, man. They do. What I meant to say, mm -mm. what did you actually say? What you say. I think you should take your time to gather your thoughts and your words, get your mouth in order, and then speak. Yep. Because you have to understand how powerful, we have to understand how powerful they are. It is literally the image of the right hand 
of God, the authority that yeah. when I'm going to say something, yeah. it's going to either produce life or death. Let there be. And there was. <laughs> <laughs> you have a portion of that in you. We talked about this the other day. You're not equal to God, right? No, no, no. But no. you have a portion of God in you. So the power, he's invested and imputed power inside of you. <sighs> Great. Use wisely and choose wisely your power. Amen. Man. It's real good. Yeah. Words are built with letters. Uh -oh. We take the letters and we spell... Law, I need you to catch this. We I talked about this in mm -hmm. TNT then. Yeah. We spell words. And so with those words, we can cast, hello, a spell. That's power. Wonder working power. In your words. <laughs> in your words. Huh? Watch what you say. Wow. Watch what you say. And it starts with a thought. Mm. Just because you can say something don't mean you should. We I just said that in the thing. Yep. Just because you can say something doesn't mean you should. Yep. Let's go back a little bit. That pausing might be, ooh, that might be dangerous because there's a <laughs> lot going on here. All right, let's see, man. Let's see. Oh, man, how do we do it? We learning. We learning. All right, here we go. Words kill. <laughs> we can Words say that again over Words give life. <laughs> They're yeah. either poison or or fruit. Say it in. You choose. Woo. Words kill. Words give life. They're either poison or fruit. You choose. Wow. Wow. The choice is really yours. Yeah. Make that's, better choices. <laughs> the choice is up to you. It's really up to you what you say, mm -hmm. but it's also up to you what you receive from what somebody else says. That part. Uh, mm -hmm. Because like we said, what we just said receive. it. Uh, the idea that you being critical can bring life to me. Yes. It doesn't have to be something that I look at as negative, but in whatever spirit you may say it, I get to choose how I receive it. Yes. Right, and you could be saying the most uh, dogmatic thing to me, but that doesn't mean that I have to accept it because I'm going to eat of the fruit of what I choose. That I got to pause and one time, <laughs> Reverend. You said some good stuff, sir. I applaud you for that. God bless you. This brother. transcends audible words, though. It carries over and is applicable to text messages and the written <laughs> word. I just want to say that. I felt that on my... Oh, that's so good. <laughs> we got to bring it me. into the 21st century. I felt that on me. That is really good. A written letter, a telegram, but a text message... Yeah. They are often taken out of context, and the words are right there. So then we're saying, well, what was your intent? But it's, it doesn't matter. It's on the how it's received. Well, who are you talking to? Who is the message for? Say your message. I say this all the time. Say your message, but say it in the language of the hearer. Mm -hmm. So they, they receive what it is. Yep. Your message, their language. Yep. Okay, I'm finished. That's how it works. About you, but I choose life. <laughs> life. I want a sweet fruit. Yeah, yes, sir. Sweet Guava. Fruit. Yeah, yeah. Passion fruit. Yes, sir. Please. You know, a peach with the, the nectar of a peach. I want the sweet fruit, not that, that right bitter thing. Not, not when it comes to these words and what I'm receiving into my spirit and into my, uh, into my psyche. Exactly. I, I don't want that. Exactly. I don't want that. And it is a choice. It's absolutely it's, a choice. It is much, very much a choice. And what we're discussing now is choosing to say the right thing. Right, right. The, the choice to receive it is on the other person, but mm -hmm. choosing initially to say the right thing, using your tongue as a weapon for life and not death. The tongue, I was talking earlier, is a muscle. Mm -hmm. And I read different uh, uh, definitions of it. And the tongue is a muscle. Mm -hmm. It is an organ. Mm. In some definitions, well, always teaching, it also really is a process, wow. a muscular process. I think as Miriam Webster says, mm -hmm. the tongue is a muscular process. So let's look mm. at this. I began to look at, well, what is a muscle? A muscle is something that we exercise ah, or not. Hello, somebody with the COVID body. <laughs> we <laughs> exercise it right. or we don't. <laughs> when you begin to exercise a muscle, it strengthens yeah. the muscle. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> when that muscle is strengthened, that means it has more power.
power. power. Yeah. Right. <laughs> when it has more power, it can execute whatever it is attempting to execute with more force, mm. more thrust, more forward motion. Yep. So if 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 the tongue is has the power of death and life, it will execute it more swiftly, <laughs> more more efficiently, yep. more directly, deliberately, wow. if it is strengthened Absolutely. to a degree, in whichever degree mm. that is strengthened. My goodness. <laughs> yep. The capacity begins to change depending on the attention that you put onto it. And again, we were talking about focus, right? Yes, uh, last yes, week and yes. even just in our backroom discussions. <laughs> yes. Backroom back banter. Back, back room. Back room. There it is. Uh, <laughs> where you decide to put your focus is really what's going to enhance. If I'm trying to build up my biceps, right? Yes. And I focus my attention there, then I'm going to increase the capacity for me to lift more with this specific muscle. Yes. And the same thing works for the tongue. What you decide to use your tongue to exercise, what you're speaking to yourself, what you're speaking to other people, yep. it's going to increase your capacity. This is really the whole backdrop of why we're doing this because the, of, of the significance and importance of words, oh, yeah. of words, good, the sir. weight that they carry mm -hmm. yes, and that, yes, and that they have to be used to build life or to destroy it. Yes, yeah. that's yep. so good. This, that's it actually is. very good, the entire backdrop is this is the fundamental cornerstone of it. Right. Why we say what we say, how you're saying it, the interpretation of what it is you're saying, and the truth or not of mm. what, what it is you're saying. Yeah. Truth. Yeah. And we should be, again, diligent in our yeah. quest for the truth yeah. and diligent in our um, speaking truth yeah. and life yeah. because you have the power of it in your tongue. The tongue has the power of it. I'd like to read one more verse. Yes, sir. And we're not going to belabor the point, but the the book the book really confirms itself with other texts. Right. People like to say that it's contrary. Principles, you know, right. But it but it, it just confirms and reaffirms every other thing within itself. Absolutely. It's so amazing. Yep. James chapter 3 okay. uh, verse 5 yeah, right. says, <laughs> even so, when you have that even so or a but this or now this, you have to go back and get the before part. Yes, sir. Now, I, I won't put it up here now, but you have to get the before part. The third chapter of James. Do yourself a favor. Read the whole thing. The whole thing. But we're going to oh, examine man. verse 5. <laughs> Even so, the tongue is a little member uh -huh. and boasteth great things. Mm -hmm. Yes. Behold. Behold. How great a matter a little fire kindleth. Well, wow. Mm, well, so small. Good. Well, that's so you know. I've often, when I read this text, I think of a forest fire yeah. mm -hmm. and how acres and acres are destroyed from a match mm -hmm. or from a cigarette butt mm -hmm. or from a spark. Yep. One spark right. One destroying spark. many, many hundreds of thousands of acres. And the, and the tongue is that. Yeah. How great a fire, a matter, a little fire kindling. Verse six, I have to get this part in there. And the tongue is a fire. <laughs> <laughs> a world of that in iniquity. <laughs> a whole world in your tongue. What so is world? the tongue That's among our members. Powerful. That it wait, man. A world. Do you see that? <laughs> a world. Right. The tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. Iniquity, remember, we always say is known sin you continue to do. Sin yep. is one thing, but then iniquity is the next level. <laughs> a layer, uh, if you will, on top of that. <laughs> there it is. And a lot of times, you know, I think that is so apropos to say that the tongue is a world of iniquity, right? Yeah. Because you knew what you were saying. <laughs> but they say they didn't know, right? I, so I, I, no, you knew it. <laughs> Reverend, can you just listen? They say they didn't know. They said, <laughs> but I didn't really know. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Iniquity. I'm with him. <laughs> I'm with him. I'm saying this stuff, but, but, but I'm with him. I'm not contrary. You knew. You knew it. So so let's say you didn't know. So now you ain't got no sense. <laughs> now you're ignorant. You got a hundred dollars in pennies and no sense. <laughs> but that but we both believe that. But then you want to be the smartest 
No, 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 no. You knew. Just, 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 just wear it. <laughs> just wear it. Did you really know? Did you? I mean, you know, only really you can answer that. And the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. Let's get back to that. Fileth the whole body. It defileth the whole and body. And set it on fire, the course of nature. Mm. Mm. And it is set on fire of hell. That part. <laughs> a fire is a certain thing. The fire of hell or hell fire. <laughs> That's right. <The> just, <laughs> it, it got a certain smell to it and a certain heat to it. You, you feel what I'm saying? Brother, okay, I'm this, done. This, ain't a, this is not a forest fire. <laughs> <laughs> this is a whole other a whole level other, of fire. Right, like, yes. Are you serious? It's a world of iniquity. It's a world of iniquity. <laughs> God. What are we doing? What are we really doing? What are we saying? It's a world of iniquity. I mean, that is so powerful. It's so powerful because, I mean, just kind of how uh, life, I would say, and specifically even music has devolved, so to speak. Language has devolved. Um, but I'm specifically, we're both musicians. And so, you know, when we were listening to you know, the music of our childhood, mm -hmm. you know, uh, hip hop, the genre was really about kind of uplifting, bringing the community right. together, right. You fun. Know, uh, fun, you know, and now there was a tremendous amount of degradation. There's a lot of death. Mm -hmm. um, and if you just think about it, just how, you know, that's happened. And even let's, let's not just critique hip hop, let's critique the church, how we used to preach <laughs> about Jesus. <laughs> Don't bother him. I promise you, I got his back. You can say, say it, brother. Say it with your chest. And I got now <laughs> you go to a lot of churches, and anyway, <laughs> I might need to clean my glasses. <laughs> there, Jake. Go ahead, put, put, your, put your fingers in. <laughs> clean my glasses. Listen, what he said, man. You should you should be a part of a ministry though that challenges both your life and your lifestyle. Mm. Just leave that right there. Yep. <laughs> I can see just one. I know a dude. So <laughs> do I. <laughs> it shouldn't accommodate your whims. If your toes are stepped on, that's good for you. It's good. You know what I mean? It challenges you, that's good. It stretches you, that's good. I swear I was there Sunday and couldn't contain myself. Had a good service. It was powerful. What? Sorry, Man. sorry some of y'all missed it. You can go back and get it, though. Come on back. Come on through. If you're part of TNT, you should get a part of the Project <laughs> Judah family and the Church One Hampton Roads family, C1HR. Amen. Yes. Shameless plug. Shameless. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. <laughs> Can I read just a couple Come more? On, we got to get out of here. But read the book. <laughs> Verse 7, for every kind of beast. So and of birds, and of serpents, so and of things in the sea is tamed, and hath been tamed of mankind. Mm -hmm. got Verse 8, but the tongue Except can the no man tame. It is an unruly evil, full, full of deadly poison. <laughs> Respect, King. Right. <laughs> the tongue is a un it's a world of iniquity and an unruly <laughs> God. Full of deadly Full. That means no space for anything else. Mm -mm. You have to control that. Wow. You have to control that. We we can control elephants, lions, tigers, bears, oh my. Oh my. <laughs> but not your mouth. Mm -hmm. We talked about self-control, too, and self-discipline. Mm -hmm. How is it that you can control everything but you? And you're busy with it, too. Mm. I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> Pastor said, you, you did. Yeah, you did. You did. <laughs> Don't say it then. What you say about silence? What's that? <laughs> Sometimes... Quiet is the loudest necessary volume. Mm. Profound. Thank you, Reverend. God gave it to me. I'm You're not welcome. that smart. I also said that silence is golden, but a good word is platinum. Mm. A necessary word. Mm -hmm. A word fitly spoken is like apples of gold and pitches of silver. Ain't that probably? It's in the book. It's in the book now. It's in the book. 
we're gonna be writing our own proverbs too. Yep. God's help. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's one. That the is one you wrote. That was that's definitely <laughs> one. Sometimes quiet is the loudest necessary volume. Fools rush in where angels dare to tread. God's army is skittish about going and you just running in and throwing it. What? Self-control. Self-control. <laughs> wait a minute. It's okay to wait. And no is a real word. With, bless we God, verse 9, even the Father, and therewith curse we men, mm. which are made after the similitude of God. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Done. Where are you putting your thumb? Where's your mouth been? And where's it going? Mm. This man is a man of God. So you're going to be like, oh, I love him. I bless him. And turn around and cuss him out. What are you doing? I know you don't do it to you, Pastor, anyway, but some of these preachers. Mm. No, I have to, uh, <laughs> you know, my brother told me if I talk about myself, you can't get mad. You so. can't get mad. Some I, people do anyway, but yeah. so what? So I have, I'm walking now in the conviction of realizing that although uh, we are dust, uh, there's some wonderful people, there's some nice people <laughs> in the world. We have to recognize <laughs> that everybody is in the similitude of God. There's some fine people. Some, fi- <laughs> some, fi- some fine people. <laughs> but we're all in the similitude of God. Similitude. And so when you're acting like a nice person, I have to remember that. When you're acting like a supreme fine person. A supreme <laughs> fine nice person. <laughs> what? <laughs> I ran into a wonderful person in Costco the other day. Did you? And I did very well. Good, Reverend. I'm proud of you. <laughs> she tried to tell me <laughs> that I couldn't be in the line I was in because she didn't understand that it was two lines. Wonderful person. <laughs> <laughs> what did she say with her tongue? Did she, she there with bless me, God uh, and curse the <laughs> Sir, you can't get in this line. Uh, I'm sorry. I can read. I'm... <laughs> You you didn't read the sign that let, I read this sign. <laughs> that lets the line go this way, this way, and that way, two ways. <sighs> Wonderful person. We we used to, well, there's a name for <laughs> the wonderful women of the world. Yeah, rhymes with Sharon. <laughs> They've been in the news lately, but it's <laughs> coming back around. It's Sometimes they just do too much. Too much. Let's see what this is. <laughs> <laughs> you're blessing God, but the thing that is like God, you're cursing. You're cursing that. Right. Are you kidding me? Come on. Yeah, Obama. Verse 10. Yeah. Out of the same mouth proceeded curse, blessing and cursing. Mm-hmm. My brethren, these things ought not so to be. Right. There should be a That's consistency so well about how it is that you speak and what it is that you say and how you are uh, respecting that which God has created. Uh, when you said, well, actually, James said it first, but when you said those things about the forest fire, it brought the image to my mind. We're about the same age. Only you. Only you. <laughs> Remember, only you <laughs> can we prevent forest fires. And prevent forest fires. Yeah, Smokey the Bear. Smokey the Bear, right. Yeah. And when you think about fire, and I know we're going to be finished in a second. When you think about fire, if it's used responsibly, it completely revolutionizes life. If we yeah. do it the right way, we can, we can cook, we can heat, we can do all of these wonderful mm. things. Mm. But if you're irresponsible with it, you can destroy thousands of years worth of work Sir. with just one irresponsible act in your life. And I think that if we put that in our minds this week, 45 weeks from now, <laughs> we will control now. our tongues. <laughs> right oh, God. But here's the thing. It says that we can't really even control them. No man. The tongue can no man tame. Mm-hmm. Lions, beasts, right. things in the sea. Right. No man can tame the right. tongue. So who, so who we got to get to control it? <sighs> huh? That's it. <laughs> the creator of all things. Yeah. Creator God who created you, created me, created our tongues. Mm-hmm. We have to give it back. Give it back to him. Speak those things which are just, which are pure, of a good report. 
<laughs> Edify yourself. Nah, you know the yeah, word, don't mm-hmm. return mm-hmm. railing for railing. Mm-hmm. Tit for tat. That's in the book. That's the book. That's the book. Right right it does book. not say that death, uh, death and life is in the tongue. It does not say mm-hmm. the power of death and life is in the tongue. It doesn't say that. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. We did that Keep your words. mouth without cursing. <laughs> Keep your tongue now. We don't hold do your tongue. <laughs> like uh, hold your tongue. Yeah. Hold your tongue. Oh man. Well, we want to hear your tongue. So, <laughs> yeah, we want to hear. So <laughs> comments, suggestions, yes. criticisms, all of that. We want to say. Bring, bring, bring it on. Bring the smoke. You can, yes. you can light a match for us. <laughs> for us, we yeah. We got strong enough shoulders. <laughs> yes, sir. We can handle it. And we want to encourage you to put your tongue on this show, Absolutely. on this TNT series, and say something that speaks life. Absolutely. But if you have death in your tongue, the if, if your tongue is empowering death, then we're going to examine that, and we're going to be built up and girded up to be protected against those darts, and we're going to speak life right back to right you. Right back to you. Right, right back, back to you. I speak life. Speak life. I speak life. I choose life. Choose life. Punchinella, Punchinella, who do you choose? <laughs> you, you, who do you choose? <laughs> life. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, subscribe, share, and then repeat. Do it again and again and, and again. We love you. Tweet repeat. somebody, text somebody. This is your host with the most, Michael Lamel. This guy right here, Pastor, Pastor Joe, Joe, is the ma- amazing. Listen. He also has uh, Project Judah, and he has Refuge, uh, the Refuge oh, Church page in. on Facebook. Uh, I'll put some links in the description, crazy, and wow, right? you can follow us. We're on wow. Instagram, we're on Facebook, and we just oh, out here trying dope. to uh, yep, do what we do, do God's work. Follow us, man. Find truth, 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 truth. Again, if you have a topic <laughs> that you'd like us discuss, to discuss or something that you felt was just had a question about something wow. in the text, or a church matter, put it in the comments. Please. And if you feel kind of shy about that, you can contact us directly, exactly. and we will um, examine it and try to bring it forth. Because I promise nice. you that you are not alone, and someone else has had the same thought oh, yeah, or absolutely. the same church hurt or the same passion uh, or question that you had um, about a subject. Yep. Yeah. If you, if you don't have much nice to say <laughs> they told us don't say anything at all right just want to encourage you watch your tongue this week speak watch life over yourself your over tongue. your kids mm-hmm. and, and us watch, and, and us. us and watch god bless you watch it watch <laughs> it watch it read chapter three of james we're gonna get some more things in there that we can Ooh. bring back oh, yeah. we might revisit this tongue thing again oh yeah Amen. yeah Dude. all right mm-hmm. we love Very you to life necessary. and we're speaking life on your life Amen. Amen. All right, this is TNT, and you know how we do. Boom! Boom. That was a good, good episode. (laughs) I will watch it. Yeah, good. (laughs) Very good. Looking back and seeing what's what's going on with it. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so after this is when we started those, uh, those, to have those, um, those uh the end parts oh yeah 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 yeah. Yeah. outtakes or whatever yeah (laughs) yeah. Yeah. so this is our first screen recording uh what how do you say reaction video Mm -hmm. i think we did it pretty good i I see how it go me too what do you think say it in the comments hook us up yes we love you and we'll be back with more all right make sure you like share subscribe hit the bell and share 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 you can revisit all of the TNTs. They're right there on TNT Sessions on YouTube. That's it. That's it. All right. Boom! Boom. <laughs> you know how we do. <laughs> I think that was good, brother. I think so, too. Did you have to stop it? Yeah, I did. <laughs>